Hello and welcome to the second annual blind taste test. This one is iced coffee edition. If you know me, you know I love coffee. You know I love drinking it as I work. And I used to have an addiction to a coffee chain, uh, not to be named. I used to go almost every day and I had to break that habit. So I checked down to the little double shot coffees that s seemed to do the trick, sip on them throughout the day. It's exactly what I need and I need to figure out what's the best option. My producer Dewey has laid out these various espresso slash iced coffee cold brews in front of me. I do not know what they are. They've been randomized. And I'm going to judge one, each one according to taste, texture, smell. And we're going to see which one's going to be the best. And we're going to see which one I'm going to start drinking at work. First one up, contestant A. has more of like a milky flavor. It's not super overpowering. There's a little bit of espresso in there, but it's not going to be like, hey, wake your ass up. It's going to be like, you can sip on this in the morning. Kind of ease into the day. Kind of like a little it's like chocolate milk light mixed with like melted cappuccino ice cream. This one's a little bit more flavor, a little stronger. A little bit bolder. Heavy milk, cream base, more sugar, more everything in this one. For that reason, I like this one better so far. This one is more punk rock, cold brew, micro brew in Seattle or the Bay Area. No nonsense, not a lot of sugar, just straight flavor. I like this one the best. This one seems to be the real deal. So let's go C, then B, then A. Some smells like the holidays. Ooh. That one still kind of milky and creamy. More of like a cafe coffee taste than espresso. Almost ventures into like a white chocolate territory for a little bit. White mocha. Almost kind of like if you got like a protein bar and you melted it down. I actually do like this one. I don't know if it's sustainable though throughout a whole day. Also has vibes of like melted chocolate milk, but a little bit more watery. Don't hate it. I'm gonna go C, D, B, A so far. And the last one. Uh oh. This one's also no nonsense. Immediate, immediate jolt to the batteries. Woo! This will give you the kick in your pants that you need. Also not a ton of nonsense. That one has a little car caramel flavor. More coffee taste in that one as well. I actually like that one too. I'm 
velvety smooth. Almost kind of like a red velvet. I'm gonna go. Mm, it's tough. I'm gonna go C, D, E, B, A. Final answer. Dewey, unveil the results. Okay, before we unveil Show the, the bottles. Show the bottles. Before we unveil the results, tell us which one do you think is is which. Like which ones? My prediction. Yeah, your prediction of. Let's. All right, we're gonna do my prediction, and we'll see if it comes true. Let me zoom in on. That nitro brew. That means I like C, D, E, B, A. Yep. Wow. There you have it, folks. The true blind taste test using all my senses. We have a new winner. I have a new iced espresso coffee drink to take to work and fuel me throughout the day. A little bit more gas in the tank. Feel free to subscribe, tune in, like, comment. You know, tell me what you want me to review next time. I might do it. I'll probably just do what I want to do. But if not, tune in next time. Thanks for watching. That's a review. Peace.